Hey guys, it's Dr. Greeny or SwollenMD. Today we're gonna to tackle one of the biggest questions I get. What's the correct order to apply my skincare routine? So we're gonna go through it from start to finish. Here we go. But first, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any new skincare videos. Make sure to stick around because I'm doing a huge skincare giveaway to celebrate 500 YouTube subscribers and 250,000 subscribers on TikTok. It's gonna be easy to enter, so you don't wanna miss this. So you may be using the right products, but you may not be using them in the correct order. If you're doing this, this may limit their effectiveness, or you may not get the best result out of the products that you're using. If I could summarize this in three words, it would be thinnest to thickest. Of course, we gotta start with clean skin, so you wanna use your favorite cleanser first. We wanna remove all the metabolic byproducts in the day, pollution, old dead skin cells, and all that. Now, you may have heard of toners, and this would be our first step after cleansing our skin. They're thin like water and leave very little residue on the skin. It's not a step I typically recommend for people, but some beta hydroxy acids like salicylic acid toners can be helpful for people with acne. So we'll start with that first, since that's as thin as it gets, and we'll move on to serums. So there's many serums we tend to use in our skincare routine, like vitamin C, niacinamide. They have a little bit thicker than water-like texture. They spread very easily. Well, often they're translucent or clear. We can apply serums right over our toner, and it leaves very little residue and allows further products to go on easily. Now we're gonna bump up the consistency just a touch. So now we're talking about lotions. So lotions are usually opaque, you can't see through them. They still run kind of like water, but they're not as thick as a cream. If we bump it up a touch more, now we're talking about creams. These don't run like fluid. They're thick, they're opaque, and you can apply those over a lotion or a serum. Now creams are gonna be things like tretinoin you get from your dermatologist, possibly moisturizing creams or eye creams. All of these things can go on after your lotions or serum. Of course, the last step of your routine is gonna be applying sunscreen in the morning. And again, this is thicker. It's um, providing a protective barrier over the rest of your other products to prevent harmful damage from the sun. Now you may find if you do these things out of order, the products may peel up on your skin or they won't mix well. So that's why you wanna do it in this order. Now for my slugs out there that apply ointments and things like that at bedtime, like Vaseline, I would recommend doing this as the last step of your night routine. If you have things that are similar in consistency, like creams or moisturizers, I'd recommend applying the one with the active ingredient at first. That way it's closer to your skin and the moisturizer can seal that in. So again, thinnest to thickest, cleanser, toner, serums, lotions, creams, sunscreen. It's as simple as that. Oh, and then if you're a slug, ointments like Vaseline. So as I said, I'm gonna give away a bunch of skincare products, including the Super Sicka Ampule from Medicube, the Triple Deep Erasing Cream, the Triple Collagen Serum, and Triple Collagen Toner. Along with that, I'm also gonna give away their deep Vita C ampules and some La Roche-Posay Amphelios SPF 60 sunscreen and some La Roche-Posay Hyaluronic Acid B5 Serum. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this has helped simplify your skincare routine. Please remember to join me 12 p.m. Eastern on Sunday for live Q&A every weekend. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok where you can check out many of my other videos that I have linked on this channel. So again, remember to like and subscribe, click the bell so you know when new videos drop. I drop new videos every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you next week.